we've had some very, very famous people on this show. Yeah. None more famous than the four gentlemen we're about to say hi to. They've been, they've flown into Australia. They've already performed in, in Brisbane tonight. They're going to be at the Sydney Entertainment Centre just to give a plug in already. Mm -hmm. And tomorrow night at the Sydney Entertainment Centre, they pack wow. wherever they go. They pack out all the auditoriums and stadiums that they play at. I'm referring to. The Highwayman, Bean, Willie Nelson, Johnny Cash, Waylon Jennings, and Chris Christopherson. Oh, oh, oh. It's an absolute thrill to have you guys on uh, our humble little show down under. We know that you uh, you don't do a lot of interviews because, let's face it, you've been asked just about every question uh, in the world, yeah. and uh, you must get a little sick of it. Well, we're a sort of an alternative show. We don't sort of hang into the serious sort of questions so yeah. much. Now, you ask the questions. Yes, we'd <laughs> rather yeah. you ask the questions. That's right. <laughs> which one's the duck? Hmm? Which, which one's... Which one's the duck? No. <laughs> now, Wayland. Right, that's a good question. A now, Wayland, I know that you have yeah. had a yearning when you arrived to see a kangaroo. Yeah. I'd like to uh, introduce him now. This is an Australian kangaroo beside me. This is Aussie, <laughs> Aussie <laughs> kangaroo. <laughs> Just in case you haven't seen one yet. And what oh, I kissed one right in the mouth. I'm sorry? I kissed one right in the mouth the other day. Did you? Oh, I'll take yes. it off before he kisses you. <laughs> it's very hard for you to kiss one now because you're at the Siebel Townhouse where we all stayed last week. We in fact did our show out of Sydney last week. Uh, what room are you in, by the way? 104. Oh, yes, that's a uh, nice, yeah, yeah, very nice lavish room, indeed. Yeah, I hope they got the marks off the walls. Uh, listen, uh, yeah, obviously, yeah. Uh, obviously you all enjoy working together, but I just thought there, you know, we're dealing with four rather, uh, you know, high-noted uh, performers here, and I thought yeah. when on stage one of you might, for instance, start impersonating Willie without him knowing. I'm good at that. Waylon can do me real well. Yeah. Could we have a little bit of Willie, Waylon? All right. Uh, of all the girls I've known before. <laughs> <laughs> you like that? I love that. The, we must congratulate you on the success, too, of the, uh, of the Highwayman. I'm holding it here. This is a CD, The Highwayman. Yeah. You've already put one out. This is Highwayman 2. Yeah. And uh, you each have a number on this that you wrote specifically for this. Uh, did you uh, write all the material on the, on the first one? Nah. Nah. We didn't write in all the material on any of them. Well, there you go. Yeah. That's a, <laughs> I like your attitude. Yeah. Chris. No, we, we, uh, but the next one, we'll make sure we've written all of it on. Yeah. Yeah. Royalty's come to mind there. Yeah. Uh, anyway, don't worry, I had one and it's quite delicious, really. Yes, he ate it. Mm. Uh, Chris, uh, while we've got you, you actually, uh, your dad was a, an Air Force General. Oh, yeah. And you were a helicopter pilot. You were uh, also a Rhodes Scholar. Do you, mm -hmm. And then you decided to throw it all in and become a country artist. Do you have any regrets or thoughts that, gee, what would have happened if I had have gone in another direction? No, I like the way my life's turned out. When I knew these guys to begin with, I was a janitor at, <laughs> at the record studio. Now I get to get up there and... Uh, Sing harmony with him. Change. Did you meet uh, Did you meet John at the at the recording studio? Yeah. Uh, well, actually, I shook hands with him backstage one time at the Opry, but he don't remember that. Well, I hope you washed your hands if you were the janitor <laughs> and meeting him. <laughs> you don't remember <coughs> the, the first meeting though with John? No, I remember. No, he he says remember. I don't remember. Yeah, he was about to go on stage. He was he was he was real focused in those days. Was that uh, in the days of uh, a boy named Sue and I Walked the Line and all of that, John? Oh, that was even before that. Oh, really? Yeah, because, John, you actually worked with Elvis, is that, is that right? Yeah, I did. I started on Sun Records in 1955, and uh, um, my first tours were with Elvis, the first three tours I did. Was he uh, a fun guy to work with? Yeah, because he was 19 years old at the time, and uh, I was uh, 21. We all had fun. And you were, pl you were playing guitar with him in the, in, the, in the group? No, he had his own guitar player. So what did you, you weren't janitor for him or anything like that, were you? No. <laughs> <laughs> now, you still go out and play with, uh, with June at various uh, gigs uh, back home. Uh, you, you, with this, do you see this as being a long-term thing or is it just now and then you'll get together, have a bit of fun and then go back and work individually? Well, I was playing with June just a few minutes ago. 
Uh, she was I meant musically, of course. Well, oh, right. oh, that's right. Yes. Well, <laughs> she came along. She's come on all the tours. She's a uh, great support for me, and uh, we always have, you know, for 29 years we've worked and traveled together, and uh, she's my friend and lover and wife and pal and biggest critic, probably. And she made this shirt. <laughs> and, of course, his son, Pat, is doing very well on the... Uh, on the tennis circuit at the moment. Yes. Uh, I dare I try and explain what this is, guys. Just yeah. don't just, worry about me, guys. Just a head on a oh stick. No. Hey. Just brush over it. Uh, right, uh, Willie, we must ask you. Uh, you you've done some incredible things uh, uh, musically. You seem to be not just uh, country, but you crossed over. You did the Stardust uh, album, and and in uh, was it '84? You actually teamed up with uh, Julio and did uh, all the girls I'd loved before. Uh, is this something that? Is there anything you want to do that you haven't done yet musically? Oh, I can't think of anything right off. Uh, there's still uh, a lot of songs that uh, that are out there I haven't recorded yet. I want to get around to all the good ones if I, uh, as long as I can find a label yeah. that'll put them out. Yeah, we couldn't see something like uh, Willie Nelson, Pavarotti, Carreras, and Domingo. Uh, <laughs> not something brewing there that we don't know about. Oh, maybe BB uh, King and Little Joe La Familia. Oh, yeah. Maybe. Oh, okay. Well, we've got another guy upstairs here. Which uh, you got a question, John? No, no. BB King, William BB. That'd be fabulous. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, I, he's, I enjoy he's that. still working. Uh, still working too. Now, guys, where, where do you think you will settle? All uh, around Nashville. I mean, that's uh, presumably where you're uh, where you're based. Um, is that where you're going to stay, or do you want to move around to other parts, of, or can go to Texas and what have you? When you settle down. When will that be, you figure? <laughs> yeah, when do you think well, let's see, you're 29 now. Uh, probably down the track quite a way. You're going to keep spread, performing? We're all, we're all strolled out anyway. Willie's and he lives in Texas. I haven't worked in years. <laughs> oh, great. Well, Chris lives in California. John lives in Hendersonville. And we're, pretty, we're pretty much settled down, really. Uh, I like Tennessee. I uh, will probably settle there. i got friends in Australia. I spend a lot of time here, actually. Going to take a vacation here after this tour. Terrific. With my Australian friends. Uh, we got a house in Jamaica we spend a lot of time at. But oh, beautiful part Tennessee of Australia. Is, yeah. uh, <laughs> yes, <it is. laughs> so, Tennessee is home. If, Tennessee New Zealand, is home. If, if New Zealand stay nuclear free, I might move down there. <laughs> <laughs> All right. uh, Rem Sanders, can I check the minibar? <laughs> <laughs> what are you blacks doing in there? Oh. <laughs> I'll go back. I want to check the bed. Chris, uh, <laughs> Chris, I just on behalf, I mean, you, you're all right, uh, you're all right, fabulous material. I just wanted to ask you, where, where do you, how do you approach your songwriting? Do you get a quick flash on a plane and you suddenly think, oh, I must write that down? Or how does it develop, the idea? Uh, I don't know where they come from, which is kind of scary, but uh, I'm not a disciplined writer. I just uh, write as the mood hits me, and it, it usually happens when I'm alone. Uh, what about help me make it through the night? Was that did you? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I was on I was on a, an oil platform 50 miles out in the Gulf of Mexico, a drilling platform, and uh, sitting on the top of it in a helicopter by myself, and uh, that's when I wrote that. Red Simons has got a theory about country music. Yes, he does. It's uh, something about when you play a country song backwards. Yep. Uh, uh, you actually get your wife back, your car back, and you win at cards. <laughs> Is that right, Dad? <laughs> Is that true? And we get out of proof. Guys, yeah. listen, we, we, uh, we do... You want to buy one? I don't we, you win it. at cards. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're still working on it. Okay, but listen, we want to thank you very much for your time. Uh, we know you've just flown in. Um, thank you for on our program, and, and re enjoy the rest of your tour of Australia and the holiday, if you have a holiday afterwards, to uh, enjoy our country. And uh, thank you once again for all the fabulous material and performances you've given us all. Thank, thank you. Thanks, Daryl. You're great. Bye, the Bye, 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 Bye. Bye. Bye.